Hello everybody, today I'll show you how to use the digital art Photoshop action. Before we get started, let's view a few examples. With this action, you need to open your main image and mark your subject area and you get something like this. The action tries to create a digital art painting style, like it's hand painted with some digital brushes. So you get some effect like that. The action comes in two variations. The first one is uh, controlled where you need to paint your own area where you want to have the finer details and it works best with person, people images, inanimate objects, figures, models, abstract objects and the second variation works best with landscapes. So here it's computed, it's automatic, it does not uh, require you to paint the finer uh, detail area but it's much with the entire landscape, the entire canvas. So it's very good in creating digital art style painting of the entire landscapes. So here is another example. You need to mark the subject area over here, and this is the final result. The final results have lots of customization options. We'll get into details when we run the action. There is another example of landscapes. All these elements, these splatters, canvas textures, scribbles, these are individual editable. You can paint on the layer masks to hide part of them or resize and rotate or duplicate these elements. Okay, so let's get started. I'll use this image for the first action and this image for the second action. First, I'll show this one. I'm just dropping this image into my Photoshop to open this one. And before we get started, we need to take care of a few things. This is first go to image, more and make sure RGB color and 8 bits per channel are selected. Then click this flyout menu and select panel options. Make sure you use default masks on fill layers and add copy to copy layers and groups are selected. Okay, now come to your brush tool, click this and make sure your mode is set to normal, opacity is 100%, flow is set to 100% and smoothing is zero. If you do not have Photoshop CC 2018, smoothing option will not be there. So if you have CC 2018, so make sure this smoothing is 0% and the most important opacity and flow should be 100%. Also make sure this uh, tablet preferences are not clicked 
this must be unclicked, unchecked. Okay, and uh, there's a recommendation for this image size. Go to image size and make sure you're using at least something around 2500 pixels. Uh, wide or high on the smaller axis, whichever is the smaller axis uh, for this image since it's a portrait image so with, with this the smaller axis so I'm just keeping this one around 2500 pixels I'm just using 2458 so it's fine it's uh, better if you use higher resolution images if you have a smaller image you can always increase and upscale this you might wonder that it becomes blurry but the final effect does not uh, matter so um, it's fine if you enlarge this image and the uh, recommended size is uh, 2500 to 4500 uh, pixels you can increase it up to around 4500 pixels so the more larger your pix images so the better uh, quality you get so it's fine for me here and um, now let's open our main resource files to do that go to file open and navigate to the main files uh, digital art which comes in the download package and it should contain these four uh, files digital art brushes digital art patterns digital art polish of action and digital art tool presets so you can select all of them and click open you can get this prompt it's uh, regarding this tool presets it asks to convert this tool presets to brush preset and this only comes in Photoshop 2018 and select here load as tools do not select import as brushes then it, this will not work if you have a lower version of Photoshop than 2018 then this uh, prompt will not come so you should be good in that but if it's 2018 then you will get, get this prompt and always select load as tools so with this done we are uh, pretty good to run our action so you can validate the files that you have imported it should come up like this first let's uh, find our action file it, select this window and click actions the action files will open up and you will see that digital art Photoshop action has been loaded and here you have the two actions the controlled and the computed Next, you can validate whether your brushes and patterns have loaded properly. To do that, go to Edit, Presets, and Preset Manager. From this drop down menu, select Brushes, and here you can see digital art brushes have been loaded. If you're using some uh, lower version of Photoshop, then you won't have this folder structure of the brushes. You will have this thumbnail icons, so there you can see that these brushes have been loaded. Okay, now let's check the patterns. From this drop down menu, select Patterns, and here are the two patterns for this digital art uh, Photoshop action has been loaded and also select these tools and here these are the tools loaded for the digital art Photoshop action so with this done uh, since I'm uh, using a portrait image of a pupil I'll use this control one because I want to highlight the areas of finer detail so I'll select this uh, control action and I'll hit play just as I hit play, I'll be prompted to paint the area. So let's start. So here's the prompt. It says now you need to paint on your main subject area where you want to have finer details. The brush and the layer are already selected for you and you just need to paint and mark the area. You can use square bracket keys on the keyboard to adjust the brush size. So after you're done painting, you need to hit play uh, to resume playback. You need to hit this play button. And here are some important uh, tips that you should follow uh, this is to not create select delete or reorder any layers or group you must not touch this layers panel over here you must not touch the actions or com commands from the action menu from here you must not select anything else and you should not change the brush, op or brush opacity and flow properties that you've said earlier you should not change this uh, parameters uh, so if you do this this action will fail to work this will not work properly you need to follow these important steps when this prompt comes, you just need to hit stop to move to your paint uh, sequence. You just brush around your main subject area. You need not to be perfect because the more random pattern you create, the more abstract kind of look you'll get at the end result. So I'm just trying to mark uh, quickly the main subject area. I can use square bracket keys to reduce the size of my brush.
You also need not to fill the entire area, it's fine if you leave spaces. So with that done, I'll now simply hit play here and do not touch anything from here. Do not click anything here or here or anywhere else. Just click play and the action will resume. So it will take some time for the action to finish. We'll fast forward from here and get back when it's done. Okay, so the action has uh, finished running and here we have our final result. Let me zoom in a bit and pan around to show you the final quality. So this is the default look that we get. You can customize various elements over here. Let's see what elements we have over here. First is the background elements. It creates three different background uh, patterns. The first one is a diagonal longer uh, paint strokes. So you can hide this to reveal the second one which is a broader stroke uh, with a smaller stroke at the center and you can again hide this one to reveal the broader paint strokes. So I'll keep this one for now and here we have the 10 background color effects. You can simply toggle these visibility icons to lay a color effect over the background only. Now we have here the hatching elements. These are hidden by default so you can show them. As you can see we have small uh, abstract hatching elements over here. The hatching elements again have uh, two different uh, groups. The first is the hatch image which creates the hatching around the image and next is the hatch uh, background which creates a hatching pattern over the whole image. So next we have our main image elements and image elements have core elements 1 and core elements 2. I prefer you not to touch this one. So these are basically the main building block for this uh, image elements. But uh, you can uh, play around uh, with them. I have kept the layers intact so that you can mix and match and see if you want to experiment with this uh, layers a bit. So the point of interest over here is this image details. Let me expand this uh, window a bit. Uh, so it says change opacity to adjust details. What you can do is you can uh, select this layer and change opacity. Let me zoom in a bit to show you in detail. So here if you increase the opacity you can see that the detail comes in and if you lower the opacity so you will see that it's more of an abstract and painterly effect. So if you want to preserve details you can simply crank up the opacity. So I'll keep it 80% and what you can do is if you think parts of the image you need to show you can select this uh, mask, select your brush tool and select color white from here and you can paint here. As you can see it reveals part of the image and also you can hide part of the image simply by toggling it to black and uh, painting on this layer mask. Next we have additional elements. Additional elements uh, we have textures. Textures, first one is this canvas like texture, grungy texture uh, around the border. So uh, and the next one is the noise. Uh, let me zoom in a bit to make you see this noise. So you can increase this opacity as you can see. You can also decrease this to reduce the intensity of this noise. Next we have scribbles. Scribbles are abstract lines and stroke markings. You can paint on this layer mask with black to hide parts of them. Here we have the droplets. We have two droplet layer, droplet 1 and droplet 2. You can again paint here on this layer mask with black to hide parts of them as you can see here and also you can paint with white to reveal parts of them. Next we have the 15 color effects. You can simply apply them by selecting this eyeball icon.
and we have our overall adjustments here is the overall levels overall brightness and contrast overall curves overall gradient map overall gradient fill you can change the color and angles and scale here and experiment out here we have the overall color fill you can also delete this and uh, again run the action and these elements are generated at random every time you run the action and you'll get a different result if you again run the action so uh, this is pretty much for the customization effects and let's show you the second action I'll choose this landscape image let me check the size the so size seems fine it's more than 2500 pixel on the shorter axis which is the width my opacity for the brush and flow I set to 100 percent blending mode is normal smoothing is 0 percent I'll collapse this action and I'll select this computed one because this is a landscape image I don't want to apply any finer details around any uh, buildings or anything I'll just want to have a painterly effect on the total canvas so I'll select this computed second action and I'll hit play so this one does not ask you to paint anywhere it will just run automatically and uh, we'll hit play here and it will take some time we'll fast forward and get back when it's done okay so the action has finished running I'll show you uh, this effect let me zoom in a bit So this is the final effect. And the layers generated here are almost the same. Only few differences are these hatching elements. So here we do not have any image hatching. We have only background hatching. And uh, we have few variations in these core elements. You can experiment out. You can try this L1 inside this core elements too if you think there is some black markings on white areas you can select this and change the blending mode to lighter color so I'll keep this normal here you can also change the opacity and rest everything is the same you if you want to increase the detail you can select this image details layer you can change the uh, opacity I'll give it to 75 percent and in the background elements also we have three different backgrounds as uh, earlier so they have a subtle effect here because uh, it's a uh, we don't have any finer area so it's uh, the image elements are covering the most of the canvas so they just act as a filler element on the background but still you, if you want you can experiment with them a bit so uh, that's all pretty much for this digital art Photoshop action Hope you like this item. See you soon.